Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It really is appreciated. Just want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. I do love you guys. I honestly do. I honestly love you. <laughs> All right. Never seen so many cards come upside down in this deck. All right, Scorpio, these cards are just an indication of the way the reading is going to go. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make your story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. And I just want to add that sometimes I do go intuitively regardless of what the card says. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I do not have my glasses again. Okay, but we'll do our best. You will quickly deal with your problems and try to um, disperse without leaving a trace. Peace, courage, strong and true love. Okay. All right. Your next card says he only cares of his own interests, fights that will lead to a relationship separation and a result of extreme anger. Okay. I'm already getting a, a message here. I'll tell you in a minute. Someone wants to take revenge on you, egotistic, um, unforgiving. Yeah. And the other card here is things going wrong uh, will ruin you. You have you have a hard time recovering illness, lo losses and disappointment. Okay. And um, the path to success is indeed filled with difficult ob obstacles and misfortune. Um, you're worried about your family. True and great love is on its way. All right, Scorpio, when I look at these cards here, I feel what I feel is somebody wants their cake and eat it too. So um, they want to have you in their life, but they want to be free to pursue other people as well. Okay. Now, you may confront this person. I feel that you will confront this person. You're asking in the heart, for the hard truth, Scorpio. Okay. And even if you're not asking for the hard truth, your intuition is something you should not ignore. Okay. So for some of you, this has been going on for a long time. You've stayed in the situation because you have family with this person. For some of you, you don't have family. For some of you, you are the third party, but they're also taking on other, other people. Okay. And the reason why you know this is because things that they're saying is not making sense. Um, something doesn't add up uh you're you're very inquisitive like you ask a question knowing what the answer should be but they give you a different answer for whatever reason you just know scorpio okay so you know your i what i feel here scorpio is you are making a head over heart decision you may have been in this situation for a long time with this person like i said because of family because of something else or because you truly do love them Okay, you've put up with a lot of rubbish throughout this, okay? But what is happening here, Scorpio, is that you have um, true a true and great connection that is on its way. And yet the funny thing is, Scorpio, that, that this person also feels that you have a, a great connection together, okay? But like I said, things that you've said and their response does not add up. So it's making you think twice, Scorpio, about this person and the way that they're behaving okay so uh, this person has got something to tell you um, because maybe you are asking the hard question so maybe they're going to confess um, really about what they're doing okay you do have somebody in the spirit world that is watching over you and um, is protecting you right now you've been very patient with this person throughout this whole situation and uh, for a lot of you, it's done. For some of you, it's only a few more months and then it's done. Okay. All right. So during this time of the Mercury retrograde, Scorpio, um, this is where things are not adding up for some of you. Okay. And you're kind of like thinking, if I walk away from this, am I the one that's going to be at a loss? Um, am I the one that's going to um, suffer the consequences? You know, because you don't want to go through any more pain and hurt. Um, 
so maybe that's why you're sort of just staying there thinking oh well you know I'm here somebody's going to get sick and tired of eating that having their cake and eat it too eventually you know but yeah it's it's sort of like you just being patient If you like this person went out at night and met up with somebody maybe or they want to take you out on a date light and want to make a confession to you, okay? Because they know, somehow they know that you know, okay? This person may have a pet. You may have a pet, okay? All right. Now the confession they want to make with you, Scorpio, is that they're traveling somewhere. They're traveling somewhere where, um, all right. For some of you, if you're in a third party situation, this person who they're married to are going back to a destina destination where they had their honeymoon, okay? Um, for some of you, they want to take you away, so they make you feel special because they haven't made you feel special for a long time, all right? But your guardian angels are saying to you, Scorpio, someone is unavailable and a waste of time, all right? You've dealt with this for long enough, Scorpio, okay? So maybe if you're in a third party and this person is going to a holiday destination where they had a honeymoon, you're moving on. You're not, you're not going to be available when they come back, okay? All right. Yeah, they're dealing with an air sign or you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Earth sign is the one they took on a date night, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, okay, and yes, this person does own a pet, all right, all right, I think I got enough out of those cards, all right, Scorpio, I want to take a deck that I haven't used for a long time, not that it's any different, it's just the energy, all right, Scorpio, what else can I get for you? All right, so I feel like this is you making a head over heart decision, Scorpio, okay? I feel like you know that this person has a promiscuous energy. They're a go-getter. They get, go after what they want, okay? This is the person that you need to move away from because there's a tell moment that's coming in, a change, a decision that's going to be made, okay? Now, bear in mind, Scorpio, I could be reading vice versa, okay? All right. All right, so we have an offer that is coming in, Scorpio. A new door that is opening up. Maybe this person gave an offer to somebody else, okay? Somebody that's more comfortable in life. Third party. Third party, okay? Sneaky behavior. Somebody's trying to get away with something, and you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you know it, Okay. You, as the Empress, are going to sit in your Empress energy. You're, you're not going to be chasing anybody, Scorpio. I feel like that, you know, this person has been getting away with something for a long period of time and they have been meeting up with other people. They could be meeting up with other people in, in the workplace, Scorpio. Um, you know, but, yeah, something fast, a, a decision, uh, something fast is coming in, fast travel, fast travel. Yeah, this, this person that they're meeting up with could be financially stable, they have a home, they have money that's coming, you know, that's that's flowing. Um, this also could be you, Scorpio, an opportunity that's going to come in for you to receive a lot of abundance, especially after this heartache that you decide to move away from and you're moving away quickly. Your decision to move is going to be quickly. You're ending something, Scorpio. You're ending a third party situation, you're ending a heartache, you're ending this bullshit, okay? You know, even though you're going to go through some grief and loss, I feel like it's the other person that's going to regret their actions, regret because what they had with you, regardless of whether you were a third party or not, was something beautiful. But there you are, Scorpios, you're walking, you're leaving. You're not putting up with bullshit. You demand respect. You demand respect to her, regardless of the situation, third party or not. You gave you gave your energy, you gave your time, you gave your loyalty, and this person doesn't want to be loyal to you. You're blocking someone, Scorpio. 
You're blocking someone. All right, what else can you tell me about these Scorpios? What else have you got for Scorpio? Yeah, you're choosing a new direction, Scorpio. Work can be taking you in a different direction too, Scorpio, but you are choosing a new path. You are going in a different direction. So what else have you got to tell, Scorpio? Yeah, you're going towards your happiness. You got underneath you the the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new opportunity, the Ten of Pentacles, which you are completing something, but there's a lot of abundance that's coming your way, and the Ten of Cups, and you're going towards your happiness. Okay? All right. So we have a, a brand new offer that is coming in for you, Scorpio. Um, it could be the same person. I don't know, but, you know... Um, the world card also indicates, you know, that there's a third party that's taken them away, <coughs> traveling somewhere. And then when they come back, they make you an offer. You do have a passionate new beginning. Yeah, it is. It is the return of this person that wants to have a passionate new beginning with you, Scorpio. But your memories of the past with this person has been shaken. Your memories of the past is that they seem to just go in different directions. They go towards other people. They they married somebody else. They, you know, they have a promiscuous energy. This this is what you're remembering. You know, them putting you into third parties. So yeah, no, I feel like you're taking a leap of faith, Scorpio, and you're just heading in a, in a new direction. Okay, justice is in your favor. This person may come back and tell you that they're going through a separation or a divorce and they want to be with you and that's why they want to move on to calmer waters, okay? But I feel like you're at a crossroads here, Scorpio. You're at a crossroads. You don't know what to do, okay? Um, for some of you, like, this has taken too long and, you know, for this offer to come in and, you know, the honeymoon seems to be over with you. So they're going to have to rebuild something slowly with you if you want them back in and they're going to have to come in correct, okay? So, you know, there is a plan, Scorpio, and I feel like some of you are looking where your destiny really lies, okay? And, you know, you're looking at your options and because you will have options, okay? I feel like there will be somebody else getting your attention, Scorpio, um, whether you're giving it to them or not, because we have the lovers that is coming in, okay? So this person also, I'm going to say, had a number of opportunities for uh, connections elsewhere, okay? And they travelled to go see these people. There you go. They travel to go see the, these people, you know, and distance, before distance used to make a difference, now distance does not make a difference. Have car will travel, have car will travel for a route, okay? So, yeah, someone's moving on and moving forward, yeah, because they're feeling left out in the cold. If you're, you're the one feeling left out in the cold, Scorpio, there will be help available to you. So don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. There you go. Do not be afraid to speak your truth. Okay? And you are seeing things very clearly now. Seeing things for what they are. Seeing things for who this person is. No matter how nice they are to you, the energy is like really in and out. There you go. I, I wanted to say the energy is in and out. And I did. And there's the card. This person's energy is in and out, in and out, player energy. And that's what you're seeing, Scorpio, that they will never give you that commitment that you want, okay, unless unless you walk away and not put up with any more. So go heal, Scorpio, put that love and energy back into you and then you'll be ready and open to receive new love in your life, okay. For however long this takes you, I feel like that there is a connection coming in for you. Um, a promising connection this has been just going on for too long you've given your time and energy to somebody that made you feel special and then takes it away comes back in makes you feel special and then takes it away okay so you're tired of the repeated pattern Scorpio you're not arguing you're not fighting you're choosing your battles wisely now you're healing yourself you know or you will be if it hasn't come in yet if you haven't made this decision you're healing yourself and you're putting all that love and energy back into you, Scorpio. And when you do, 
you will open up your options okay because i don't think you want to allow any space for this person to come in or you want them to come in correct so they're going to have to prove themselves because the option that's coming your way will be i feel like it's it's a really good one yeah king of cups you're in this energy king of cups energy okay focusing on your success finding out some secrets about this person's manipulating ways you will find out more okay all right so once you heal yourself scorpio once you go through this healing process um a wish fulfillment is going to come your way all right i do feel though that this person does want to communicate because they they are hurt they are hurt they want to give this opportunity one more time okay um they feel that they're your destiny they feel that you're yeah and they are coming for some of you they're coming in correct so it's up to you whether you want to have this connection with this person again in a, in a better way and for some of you there is somebody coming to you scorpio and this person um has been through quite a battle okay and i i kind of feel like that when they meet you scorpio when they talk with you when they um sit with you scorpio it's it's a very healing for this person and and you know time after time after time um that they talk to you they enjoy talking to you they they feel that you're the destiny that they should be with okay and they they're very intuitive as well scorpio i feel and this is your soulmate okay for some of you the person that you're with that's giving you the hard time is your twin flame and that's why the energy is in out in out until this person comes into alignment with you all right now they're holding back something but they're going to come out of feeling stuck okay they're turning their back on things that no longer serve you serve them or, or it could be you that's turning you back there has been a lot of gossip there has been a lot of talk there has been a lot of toxic energy okay and you're just holding back you're not rushing forward you want the universe to show you something you want this person to show you something okay because you're not going to go through any more sleepless nights because right now if you've already gone through this or you're going to go through this in, in in time to come you're very comfortable you're very stable you're very you know happy where you are but this sleepless nights is because you found out about an earth sign that they were seeing okay a virgo capricorn or taurus so this is a, a stable woman who has a lot of money but does not have anybody in their life okay and that's the person they took an opportunity with all right so yeah but that connection didn't work out didn't work out for them bad luck because i feel scorpio <laughs> that's what you wanted to say i feel like somebody wanted to say oh well bad luck you know it's, i'm moved on i'm happy yeah so you don't want to keep yourself any more mentally tied and trapped okay and i do feel that there's a beautiful offer and a commitment that is coming in okay somebody who's in charge somebody who may have their own business somebody who gives equal give and take um somebody that wants to share a home with you this person thinks of you okay they do want to talk to you and you are the wish fulfillment in this connection scorpio okay for some of you it's coming in very fast they've made a choice they've ended something okay and they want you scorpio you're the single one you're the one that gives them strength you're the one that gives them direction they want to apologize to you they want to put in the hard work and effort and the sun is going to shine again for you scorpio we have somebody taking charge even though that's a fire sign but there's your victory scorpio you have a victory coming in at the end of the day you win you win again okay so um yeah for some of you you will reconnect with this person you will give them another opportunity but you will be very very observant to to them okay because you are much stronger now but for some of you you've moved on you're going to go into this other connection and for some of you you're going into this other connection for the simple purpose of you don't want this person to come back in your life okay now you may not be totally in love with this new person 
but you see them as somebody good, somebody stable, somebody giving, somebody who is affectionate towards you. This is hard for you, Scorpio, because there's got to be something about this person that attracts you because otherwise it won't last, okay? So be careful with your choices that you're making here at the end of the day. You know, everybody makes mistakes, Scorpio. Everybody goes through ups and downs. Everybody learns lessons. So for some of you that are allowing this person to come back, you're being observant to make sure that they've learned their lesson. But there's, there's still that building of trust that you need to, to do. Because if there's no trust, there's no relationship with Scorpio. Okay? So trust. No more lies. No more bullshit. Okay? You don't want to put this person on a dog leash. You want to give them freedom, but you want trust. But anyway, Scorpio... What? end of the day you get your wish fulfillment okay so whether it's this person new person you make the decision which direction you want to go because the victory belongs to you Scorpio okay happiness is coming your way again lots of travel lots of you know things that you can plan now you can plan a home you can plan you know lots of shopping <laughs> for some reason I say lots of shopping furniture dresses I don't know this person that that you're going to meet they just want to spoil you they want to spoil you Scorpio so yeah anyway Scorpio I wish you all the best and we'll see you next time and if anybody's interested in a personal reading um, just shoot us through an email I have some spots that are open at, at the moment um, it will get busy between now and Christmas so if you want to secure a spot you know do that all right Scorpio all the best. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.